Hello and welcome back to another installment to Poke Fodder. In this video, we are continuing our coverage of Jurassic World Alive 1.14 and the new creatures that have been brought to us. As you can see on my screen here, I have another hybrid ready to go. This is going to be Grylinkin. It is a hybrid between, what is this? I can't ever say this one. Kel Lincoln and then Griposuchus. Griposuchus already has Gripolith, a unique, and so you're going to be torn on which direction to go with this epic DNA. But really, it's probably not that big of a choice yet. Grylinkin is a legendary hybrid, which means when it gets a super hybrid, it will be a unique, and then Griposuchus will then be part of two unique creatures. The only saving grace here is Gryposuchus is a local four spawn. Kalinkin is going to be a dawn and dusk global rare spawn. As you can see here, I have 221 Gryposuchus remaining. If I get all tens, that is going to be 40 DNA, which will put me exactly at 200 for this particular hybrid. Not real happy about that, but we're going to take care of it in one fell swoop there, a 30 right off the bat, which means we are one fuse away from creating another hybrid. Boom, a 20. So as we create this legendary hybrid, let's look at the stats. It is going to create at level 16. Since you saw me just unlock it, I've not used it in any kind of battle situations, but from other people who have, this very well could be the worst legendary hybrid in the game. But remember, Kula Borginia is probably currently the worst legendary hybrid in the game, and it makes Gemini Titan the best hybrid in the game. So Grey Lincoln, once you get it to level 20, you're probably just going to want to set it on the shelf somewhere and forget that you own it until the unique hybrid comes out. But for now, let's at least give it some love, even if it is just momentary. Health stat, 1841, attack of 675, speed of 126, 10% armor and 5% crit. Now here's part of the problem with this figure. The abilities it says it has doesn't match up with the patch notes, and I have no idea if it matches up with in-game battles. I just know there's a lot of discrepancies on this particular hybrid. We're gonna talk about the abilities that are listed, and if they change or are inaccurate, this is the best I can do. Its basic move is distraction, a one times attack where your opponent's damage is going to be reduced 50% for one turn. It has immobilize. It's a priority move that stuns 100% just like Gripolith. Target swap prevented for two turns with a cooldown of two. It does no damage here. Breaking Claws removes the target's dodge and cloak. It's a two times attack with a cooldown of one and a delay of one. You cannot use this as your opening move. And it has evasive stance. It's a priority move, gains 75% chance to dodge 66% of direct damage for three turns. Why they don't just say it dodges 66% of damage is beyond me. There's no need for it to read that complicated. It dodges 66% of damage, period. This creature is immune to swap prevention as a passive. It is immune to deceleration and it has simple rending counterattack. It deals 25% of target's max HP as damage after receiving and surviving a physical attack. As you can see, I have all four of the new creatures that I have unlocked from 1.14. Headed into the campaign mode. I hope I don't need them all, but just in case I do, here we go. My task here is to defeat three creatures. I'm going to start with Grylinkin. Grylinkin, Grylinkin. I hope I'm saying that right, but it's Grylinkin. I do have the speed advantage because of my, I cannot find, there it is, of my 126 speed here. I could just go with evasive stance and set up my raking claws. Or I could go for distraction. I think I'm just gonna go with my distraction here. Okay, so I'm going, I'm only gonna take 259 and then my counter attack of 360. Not too bad, not too bad. Now I fully expect my opponent to use instant charge here, so I'm going to try to dodge that with a little bit of an evasive stance. Again, the instant charge is gonna come out. 172 damage, so I'm not taking a whole lot of damage, although I did get stunned there, so that's kind of bad news. I will I will take my 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 punishment here for getting stunned. I get hit with an impact and run. And that is probably going to be the end of the day for a guy Lincoln, who uh, just got completely manhandled by a swap and run type opponent. It happens, it happens. That's not to look down on Grylinkin. 
in this particular situation, but as I said before, it typically is known to be arguably the worst legendary hybrid in the game. But I'm going to take this opportunity. Um, we're going to bring in Moss Chops. It kind of looks like the, the Venom, the Black Spider-Man, right? The way, like, kind of? Especially with the way that they do them now, where they're just, like, super, just, like, blah. Um, definitely going to go with a revenge move here. Eh, only 831, although I am just a level 8. So, you know, uh, that's not going to get things done. That's going to be my first KO here. So that's good. A little concern about how I'm going to do this. I think I'm okay because I have Magenta Boa, who seems to be, of the ones that I've unlocked, the cream of that crop. Definitely just, I mean, got to go with just the one and a half times attack here, I think. Oh, we're going to get swapped. Draco Rex going to come in. Going to do the attack here. Nullify. Doesn't matter. I did not have anything going on as far as anything to be denullified there so that's okay we're gonna get a little hammer down and that's a gg for draco rex moss chops is so far holding his own or her own whichever it is it, this one looks like a dude if this was a female i'd be definitely that that would be scared that female could definitely take me in a in a boxing match for sure two pendactylus is going to go ahead and swap in with feroci ferocity swap in ferocity ferocity i think yeah and uh, we're going to do 831. So Moss Chops looks like... <laughs> looks like he's going to get knocked out here. And uh, man, I want to use Magenta Boa. But I would rather use the Revenge Attack. Just because I think it's cool. I love the animations on this. Definitely going to go with the Revenge here. Swap Prevention. The 130 speed. 916 is going to equal Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. So there you go. Gren Lincoln did not have the most outstanding of showcases there, but it's not the first time I've failed to utilize a creature properly in its inaugural battle. But I think you guys kind of get the idea. On this particular one, level 20 is going to be good enough. Like I said, kind of stick it off in the corner where you don't think about it. And then someday when it gets a unique hybrid, you can dust it off, bring it back out, and it'll be ready to go for you. Let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite hybrid so far of 1.14 and which is the most underwhelming if you like this video give it a thumbs up while you're there make sure you subscribe and turn on the alert notifications so you know when the next video drops here on youtube that's all i've got for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time so gain 50 percent damage for two turns so i'm going to stack that with a ferocious strike which is going to give me 50 percent damage for three turns so let's see how this works out for me Oh, wow. I mean, I would expect a 50% and then an additional 50% to do more than 